Someone abandoned her there. I decided to bring her home because we don't have our own child. Obidia, if you know where you picked this baby, please return the child to that place. I am not ready to father any child of evil. Please. Hey, Nanya. Hey, look at this child. Just take a look at her. Hey, she's not an evil child now. Hey, Pico, let us train this child. Maybe the gods will bless us through this child. Hey, hey, Nai, have you forgotten that we need somebody that will take good care of us in our old age? Just look at her eyes. Beautiful girl. <laughs> Nai, just look. Can you come now? Huh? of our land. Uh -huh. I thank you for this baby. He said... The baby will bring blessings to this house. He said... Uh, because of the way this child has come, I will name her Nonye. Hey! The gods of our land. Nonye line. Nonye the gods of our land be with us. He said... We are going to celebrate this baby. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go! My kinsman told me that the miracle happening in my house is too rare to see. <laughs> now, nah, which miracle? <laughs> You're being pregnant. When everybody has lost hope of your having a child. <laughs> now, nah, ever since I picked money, mm -hmm. hey, this home has changed. Thank you. Hey, now. Nah. Nonye has the favor of the gods upon her. I should believe you because look at the yield in our farm has increased tremendously. Hey! Ah. And uh, please let Nonye not know that we are not her true parents. Ah uh ah, -uh. man. I should be the one telling you that. After all, I'm the one that picked her. Hey. Eh? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? I'm the one that picked her. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, should know that we are the only parents she has. No problem. And let me ask you this. Try and keep this and let it remain as the only secret between two of us, please. No problem, my. I, I trust me now. Eh? How we do that? Eh? How we do that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> no way. Sorry. Did you hurt yourself? No. Hey. Money. What happened to Loma? We are playing and she fell down. She fell down or you pushed her? No. I didn't push her down. Nonya, Nonya, if your plan in this house is to injure my child, it won't work for you. Hey, I don't stop talking to her like that. I don't like it. Hey. Yes. Ibekwe, how? 
I should stop talking to her like that. Yes. Her Majesty. So I should prostrate before you. Eh? Nah, I should prostrate before her. You want to tell me whether you impregnated the answer or I did it? I should remind you to go to the stream, fetch water and fill all the jars, prepare lunch, and uh, what again? Wash all the dirty clothes in this house. You don't need to remind me. After all, I've been the one doing all of it since. But let me ask you, you, what is your work in this house? What is your duty? How can Mama send me something in this house when you were here? Mama did not send me any errand though. Uh, hey. So that is why all you do is eat and lazy about in this house, eh? Look at you. At your age, you cannot do anything in your life. A young girl like you. You cannot cook. You cannot wash clothes. Even your own clothes, you cannot wash it. You cannot wash dirty plates. You cannot sweep the compound. You're getting very lazy. You're getting lazy and lousy, sister. I'm telling you the truth. Mm? Is it me you're talking to like that? Is it me? Mama will come back after mama. I've just told you the truth. Feel like I get angry. Mama is. <laughs> mama! Hogini! <laughs> mama is in Anoya! Since morning she's been insulting me, insulting me, calling me a lazy girl. Chile came in. Mama! Who gave you right to call my daughter a lazy girl? I was only advising her as my sister. Look at this foolish girl. So you think you are more hardworking than her? Eh? Ma, all I'm saying is that it's about time Uloma starts assisting me with the housework here. After all, she's not a child anymore. I'm a child. Shut down your mouth. Next time you talk to my daughter in this manner, I will teach you a lesson of your life. Hey! Mama, why do you always refer to my younger sister as your daughter? Am I not your daughter too? How dare you ask me such questions? Mama, do you know she has not finished filling those jars with water as requested for before going out too? Hey! Hey, Fomo! No, yeah? Is it true? Yes, you I got tired. I will feel it tomorrow because it's already late. Hi! Hey. No, yeah? Before I close these eyes and open it, eh? You go and fill those jars right now! Go on! Fetch the jars immediately! My daughter, don't worry yourself. You can carry this load. Mama, I can carry it. I think you are going to the stream. I know, but I have to help you with this load. It's too much for oh, you. Remember, it's getting late. Yes, but at least let me help you cross the hill with it. Okay. Thank you very much.
I wonder what is keeping <laughs> Nonye in the stream by this time. Nay. Eh? Nonye has changed to something else. How do you mean? Ah. She's been gone two days now. Papa, you don't know. Nonye has done to one. Shut up. Where are you not are you not supposed to be at the stream there with her? What are you doing in the house? <laughs> I must go to the stream now. Oh, come on. Oh, here she comes. No, go ahead. Hi, my daughter. Take it easy. Welcome. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Welcome. What kept you there? Uh, uh, hmm? What kept you at the stream? I was scared, fearing perhaps that something terrible may have happened to you. Sorry, Papa. I didn't go to the stream on time. That's all right. Um, Take the water inside. Go inside and uh, eat your food. Yes, Papa. Welcome. Nah, I'm spoiling this girl. How do you mean I'm not spoiling her? You're spoiling her. She's our daughter, I'm not spoiling her. I like Okwa No, 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 no. She's our daughter, I'm not spoiling anybody. <laughs> oh. You want to show her that love? <laughs> My daughter, where are you going? Why is why you scared me? I didn't expect to see you here. Now you have seen me here. Tell me where you are going. My mother, my mother specifically told me to go to this forest and fetch firewood. If you love your life, don't step into this forest. Eh? Why? It's an evil forest. No one goes into this forest and comes out alive. What? What? Why then did my mother send... Did she want me to die? You need to be very careful with her. Don't say I did not warn you. Come, let me show you where you will get firewood. Thank you, husband. The prettiest girl in this village. Yes, I love her even when she don't know it. Are you serious? Yes. Did you know that each time I close my eyes and open my eyes, the only thing that do come to my mind is her. Then tell father about her. Oh I know we help you to marry her. Yes, I know. Do you know what? I will do that immediately when we come back from farm. And one more thing, what Waka, you? you need to help me. I'll talk to father. No, okay. I will, I will, I promise. Meanwhile, let's go to the farm. Are you sure? Yeah, let's go. I'm sure she won't come back again. She won't, oh, Mama. She won't. Let me see how she will come back here to come and say Father's love with me in this house. Every time. Naya. 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 Naya this. Naya that. I'll not hear a word.
Nonya? Hey, is this you or your ghost? Mama, it's me. Why do you ask? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm surprised you came back early. Hey, so how did you fetch the how did you get the firewood? Mama. So you knew that Umekwe Forest is an evil forest, yet you sent me there to fetch firewood. Do you want me to die? Me? Ha! No, I don't know anything about that. Me? Hey, but come, Nonye. I told you you should not talk to anybody. How dare you disobey me? Eh? How dare you? There was one old woman that I met. She said I should never step my feet in there again. Then she showed me a nearby bush to fetch firewood. Eh? Old woman? Mama, tell me the truth. Did you not know that Umeokwe Forest is evil? Hey, ha, evil. Uloma, ha, I don't know anything, no. I don't know anything about evil. Huh? I don't know. It's okay. When my father comes back, I'll ask him if he knows. Yes, again. What? When my father comes back, I'll ask him. Yes, sir. Ask Sonia. My husband. Nonya, if you dare me hey. show anything to my husband, hey. Eh? Hey. I will scan you alive. Idiots! What's wrong with you? Eh? You quick quick swallow. Did you hear that? If you say BIM, we will eat you raw in this house. Look at this. Go inside. Carry it! What's wrong with you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mm. Mm. <clears throat> you My son here has seen a wonderful flower in your household. And we have come to pluck this flower. Uche Ukon, you're welcome. Thank you very much. My son, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Um, Uche Ukon, you are a member of Igwe's cabinet and the custodian of our custom. Yes. I have two beautiful daughters in my house right now. Which of them mm -hmm. is your son seeking her hand in marriage? Okay. Okay. <laughs> My son, Papa, please tell us the name of your intended wife. <clears throat> uh, Papa, it's Noye. Noye? Yeah. <laughs> um, you're welcome. Thank you. Obidia. Please, go and call Noye. Tell her to come and greet our guests. <laughs> Nai, here, bow. Huh? Just like that. Nai, we should at least ask her some questions. How do you say many of them? Are you countering my orders? You say, Ibebe, I think your wife is right. Maybe you should discuss with your daughter and your wife about this issue. We will come back in the next eight market days. Yes. To know what you've discussed. Hmm? No, no problem. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for this wonderful color. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah? Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. Now that I have seen the boundary of that disputed portion of life, it will be easy for me to deliver judgment. You're quite correct, yeah. Judgment is easy for you. Your Highness, may you live long. May your enemies wish over you not come to pass. Thank you, my dear. 
Thank you, my daughter. Okay, sir. Your Highness. Do you know her? Not at all. Hey, why are you talking? Your Highness, that's all. Hey, don't get. Who are you? My name is Noye. Noye? From which village? I'm from this village. Who is your father? Mas Ibekwe. Ibekwe. Ibekwe, Mas Ibekwe. Okay, all right, all right. Please, send my regards to him. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm such a grown up girl. Uh, oh no, you were. I swear by the gods. about any woman since my wife passed and joined her ancestors. Your Highness, hmm? you are sure you really like that lady? No, yeah? I want to take her for a wife. Honestly, my spirit has accepted her. Totally. Your Highness, it is only lawful for you to make your choice or choices of wife from the Umuabo Festival coming up very soon. Do you think I don't know? I know. But I want you to keep an eye on her. And you must also go to the parents and tell them that I the Igwe has eye on their daughter. So they don't make the mistake of marrying her off to another man. Igwe, your wish is my command. Good. Igwe! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it you want to tell me? Uh, you see, when we are coming back from the elders' meeting this afternoon, mm. you know, told me something about our daughter, Nonye. What did he say? Hey, Nai, I hope Nonye did not commit any serious offense in no, this No, 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 he has not committed any offense at all. Hey. Rather, it is a piece of good news. Good news? Yes. <laughs> what is it all about? Do you know? told me, Chio Kezia, told me in confidence uh -huh. that the Igwe is interested in marrying our daughter, Nonyen. What? Mom. Hey! good news. Mom. That's it. Huh? Hmm. Anya, um, Nonya, my daughter. After discussing with your mother, we have agreed to tell you this. Papa, I'm scared. Is everything all right? Everything is all right. Don't be scared. Uh, we've decided to inform you that the Igwe wants to marry you. Eh? Yes. Papa? Are you serious? Of course, yes. So, we want to tell you now that you should comport yourself and know that you are the desire of many young men in this kingdom. Try and comport yourself wherever you may be, especially in the public. 
Yes, Papa. I, 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 I promise I, I, I will not let this family down. <laughs> and I'll make you proud, Papa. Very good. I know that God will bless me through you. Mama, please, I'll need your support. It has no problem. You have my support, eh? <laughs> you have my support. Thank you. <laughs> God will bless you in that marriage. You will have many children according to your desire. And uh, you will live very happily with the man. Nobody will disturb you. <laughs> Say amen. Amen, Papa. Come on. Okay. First of all, me. Let's see how it will happen in this house. with your sister. Mama, how do you want me to be happy? How do you want me to be happy when everybody is pleased with Noye and nobody is happy or saying anything good about me? Hey, how can you say a thing like that? Hmm, hmm. I don't blame her. I don't blame her because she is not the preferred daughter because the Igbo wants to marry her. Hey, Igbo chooses her. He chooses Noye. Mm. Igbo chooses her. Oh, because you want it all. I want to pick the one that Igbo will marry and not Noye. Ha, huh. Loma, you know you are my preferred daughter. You know it. If I'm your preferred daughter, Mama, you have to do something. I want to be the one you go will marry, Mama. Not Loma, no, yeah. my dear. Hmm? Loma, you know you are the prettiest girl in this village. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you let me. Hi, oh, my little mama. Why are you behaving like this? You know I love you so much. Hmm? Mama, you have to do something. It's okay. I will do something. Okay? I will do something. Don't worry. Hmm? Hmm? Um, it's here, Ibekwe. My brother, welcome. <laughs> we have come to know the outcome of your discussion with your daughter, Nonye, over my son's uh, marriage proposals. Uh, welcome once more. Thank you. <laughs> Um, there is nothing to discuss again. Eh? How do you mean? Um, a higher individual uh, made marriage proposal to Noni and she accepted. Eh? So, I am sorry. But my advice is, you should look for another girl for your son. He can... Who is this higher individual, if I may ask? Uh, my son is not the kind of person you may know. You can. Papa. Let's go. Hey. Ah. Uh -uh. Don't take it like that now. Eh? Uh, don't be angry. Our hands are tight. I am angry already. It's not fair. Let's go. Let's go. It's not fair. I made my intention. It's not fair. It's it's not fair. It's not fair. Our hands are tight. Eh? Huh? Hey, there is nothing where I can go and marry another woman for him. Yeah. Yes, huh? should go and look for another girl. Oh. Igwe has taken our nonny. And he's a very he's a better husband and oh. son in law. Okay. Yes. What? What is it? Why are you looking for me? Eh? You're a young woman, oh. You're not supposed to be seen at this type of corner of the village with a village boy. If people see you now, what will they say? Eh? Eh? Hold 
mama. No, yeah. See, I am tired. I am tired of this your advice. Do you understand? Leave me alone. Yes. Just leave me alone. No, mama. Oh, come on, Abiaga. Abiaga, yes. Yes. Abiaga. Shameless he got. Look at you because you have you have tried where I am and you failed. You think you can force my sister? You have failed. Do you hear me? You have failed. Idiot. You want no? You want to? You want to have a work? Idiot. Look at this girl. Hola. Because she's finer than you, that's why you are jealous. <sighs> nah, this girl may be a little more Mama! Mama! Eh? What is it? What is it? You want her? The next time she disgraces me like this in this village, eh? Mm. I swear, I will make life miserable for her. Then what happened? See me, oh. I was outside discussing with the young man I intend to come and ask my hand in marriage. No, yeah, from nowhere. Go and embarrass me. Hey! Check him out. I will not. Where's that? Stop What is it? Huh? Why do you have to do that? Do what? Nothing. Say it! Say it! Mama, I can explain. Explain what, idiot? I am not interested in your stupid explanation. I am not so. Your mission in this house is to marry before my daughter, eh? And eh, Idaraya! Asseling get Idaraya, you have failed! Eh? No! Yeah, you Mama! Oh, come on, my daughter, don't cry. Go ahead to the point, eh? It's all right. I don't like to see you shedding tears, eh? It's okay, my daughter. Papa? Yes, my daughter. It's about Mama and Loma's attitude towards me. Okay. It's quite harsh, and I don't understand all right, it. It's all right, my daughter. Don't cry. Don't cry. I, I can understand you now. You see, uh, I will talk to your mom, dad, and uh, Oloma. I'll talk to them about it. And I'll make sure that they stop it. Papa, is that a promise? I have never made any promise to you without fulfilling it. I will make sure I stop it. It's a promise. Just wipe your tears. Don't cry again, my daughter. It's okay. It's alright. Right. Cheer up. You are my daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Cheer up. Don't cry, eh? I cannot find the money I made from my hunt sales. So, who among you has the money? Nai, who else would take your money if not Nanya? Nanya never. Me? I did not see any money. Huh? No, you did not see. It is me. Nanya, you are the only thief in this house. You better bring out that money. Bring it out too. Will you people stop this nonsense? Both of you should stop this nonsense. Nonye, my daughter, is not a thief. I am sure of this. Eh? Yes. So this is what you're saying, eh? Yes, that's eh, what I'm man, then you are not prepared to find your money now. Leave it. Happy Anon. Huh? Nonsense. I bet let's go, then. Let's go, oh. You are no longer afraid of me. Nonye, my daughter, is not a thief. No, it's me and my daughter. Don't no worry. Because I've stopped beating you. I forgot something. Inspiration. People of Umogwe! The greatest people of Umogwe! Listen! This is the formula! That the famous Oboromo Abo Festival. We see you at Farm Market Place. My Farm Market Days. All the young girls in this kingdom, I expect them to come at their very best. Do you go want to choose his wife through the festival? And the premises that's going to be thrilling and entertaining. Come on, come on. All the mother, prepare your daughter. Oh, the father, 
Prepare your daughter. The greatest people of Amokwe, this is to inform you that the famous Owatu Mwaboa Festival will still hold in just five market days at the palace. All the young girls in this kingdom are expected to come at their very best. Do you where want to choose his wife through this festival? All the mother, prepare your daughter. Father, prepare your daughter. It promises that's going to be thrilling and entertaining. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to be greatness. It's going to be fantastic. Come. <laughs> At this pressure, people have sent me. And entertaining. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to be great. Us, uh, fine, entertaining, huh? Eh? Oh, but no. Dancing. Your clothes is fine, no? I bought it for you. I know. <laughs> it's very, very fine. I bought it for you. Didn't you hear the town crier's announcement yesterday? Uh -huh. This is the clothes I want to wear for the Owako Mwaboga Festival. Uh -huh. Hey, hey! <laughs> I'm testing it. It's fine. It's fine, no? Mama. No, yeah. Ma? So you have started now to prepare for the festival that will hold in four market days. Now tell me, who bought this cloth for you? Mama, it's Papa. Oh. It's Papa that bought it for her. He thinks I did not know. That's why you see her bragging. Grace bride indeed. Hey! No, yeah. So you have bewitched my husband. He now buys you clothes. Eh? He now buys you clothes. Eh? Ha! Give me that clothes. Mm -hmm. 
burn this country. Oh yeah, now you're going to match this and crazy. If you, if you near me, I will, I, will, I, will, I will break your neck. Shut up! Where are you? What I want to do is to sit here, fold my arms, watch Nonya take what rightly belongs to my daughter. Nobody's seeing my daughter Oloma. I must do something about this before it gets late. Yes, I know what to do. <laughs> Because she's she's always outshining in, in everything. But you don't have to implicate her now. She's my sister. Wilma, I'm just doing all these things because of you. After all, Anya is not your real sister. What? How do you mean? It's my letter. Hey. Mama, please let me go. Shh. That. Give me my meat. Which meat? You don't eat meat again in this house. Mm -hmm. Mama, Mama, tell Lola to give me my meat. Oh. And what is wrong with that? Huh? Oh, yeah. Mama, you don't see anything wrong in it. She, she, she took my meat. She's my younger sister. Tell her to give me my meat. See this one. Who's your younger sister? I'm not your family. Go and look for your family. That, that, that is if, if, you, if you have one. 
Uh -huh. <clears throat> What's that supposed to mean? It means you don't have a family. Go and look for your parents. Mama. Is it true? No. Uh -huh. Hey, Damon. Uh -huh. hmm? uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah? Uh -huh. Eat it, eat it. Crying outside by this time of the night. Papa. My daughter. I want you to look into my eyes and tell me the truth. My daughter, what is the matter? Papa. Is it true? Is it true that you and Mama are not my biological parents? Tell me the truth. Oh, my God. What prompted this question? It is what Oloma said today. Oh. And Mama supported her. My daughter, let us go inside and discuss this matter. Eh? We'll go inside. And I will discuss the matter in details with her and tell you everything you want to know. Let's go inside. Let's move here. Don't cry. Wipe your tears. But we agreed that these children will not be let into the secret. Now, for your information, I don't have children. I have a child, and that is all Loma. Less and the wicked over such a simple matter. Hey! How you going So, because of that thing, that thing I picked from the back of the river, now you are referring your wife, your own wife, Ibekwe, as a senseless and wicked woman. Hey! She must leave this house. She will not go. No, you will leave this house. She will not leave. Instead, you will leave. Don't try it again. She will not go. Papa, it's okay. It's alright, I will leave. And you've tried for me. And I don't want to be the one that will tear you and your family apart. I know it won't be easy for me, but the gods will see me through. But it's 
tell me? Where was it you said I was picked from? I want to go there and see if anything will lead me to my true parents. Ngeni River Bank. That's the place. Ngeni River. The bank of Ngeni River. Thank you, Papa. Highness sent me to find out your daughter's mind concerning his proposals to her. Uh, oh no, you're welcome. But I think my wife will be in a better position to answer you that question. Let me call her. Mm. Okay. Oh, be dear. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I don't know. We have sent to know to come and find out. Our decision concerning his proposal to our daughter, no one yet. Uh, now you know, we actually confronted her on her opinion. She promised telling us about the proposal after thinking about it yesterday. But since yesterday, she went into exile. No one Yes. No one went into exile? Yes, so. Because of the Igwe's intention to marry her. <laughs> hey, I don't believe this. No, no, no. You better believe it too. Ha, that girl, she do behave strangely sometimes. Ha. From all indications, she's not interested in marrying the Ukwe. She wants to marry one hungry pan white taba from the next village. Mm. Ha. Thank you. Ichie, no, I'm going. The Igwe will be highly disappointed. <laughs> I'm going. Ah, no, you know. Now you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, where are you going now? Do, wait, wait. Eh, Ulo Oma. Ugo Bo Mo. Anya Ngo Toto Bia. Bia. Mama. Eh? Good afternoon. Hey. Ulo, just look at my daughter. Mm. Pretty. Mm. What do you think? Ha, just look at her. Anya Ngo Toto. Hmm? Oma Le Cham. Ulo, I think she will make a good wife to the Igwe. <laughs> Good wife indeed. Ichie, I'm leaving. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, ah. Mom, please leave me, sweetheart. You are beautiful. I know. 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 I
My daughter, have they thrown you out of their house? Why is one? It's you. Are you surprised? How did you know they asked me to leave? I know everything I wish to know. I had to leave because they are not my biological parents. I wish that one day I would see my true parents. Don't get yourself worked up thinking about your parents. You can never know what the future has for you. <laughs> what does the future have for me in this bush? <laughs> Don't bother about me. Just take me as your friend. A friend? Yes. I will teach you a song that you will sing whenever you remember anything that will make you unhappy. I love songs. Okay, teach me. Follow me. And salty something. Something you call it soup. Yeah. Am I see that bad? It is a bad. Hey! Uloma. Mm. Simple soup. So you can't prepare simple soup. Eh? You can't prepare simple soup. Offer, offer. No, tell me. You hey! You can't prepare simple soup. You can't prepare simple soup. Eh? You can't prepare simple soup. Eh? You can't prepare simple soup. We, we, know, we, know, we know, you know what we to do anything in this house. You see it? This is the evidence of your handwork upon her. You see, you made her a spoiled child. <laughs> Both of you conspired and threw Nonyem out of this house. This is the result of your action. This, you never realized that this will be the consequences of your action. Ah! Yes. Today you are reaping that thing. You will re remove this poison from this very place. Okay. Nonsense. Okay. Me again, Jesus. If you ever try it, eh? <laughs> My daughter, what are you doing here? 
Ice One. I've been longing to see you. Really? Yes. I don't understand the kind of life I am living. I am just existing. I don't know who I am. The earth is so large that you can survive in anywhere you see yourself. Just utilize the opportunity in anywhere they come. Now that you live in the bush, follow me. I will teach you the importance of herbs and roots. I don't understand. Why is one? Are you a native doctor? Follow me and learn. I know someday you will cherish the knowledge. You still haven't answered my question. Who is one? Follow me. Come. I will teach you the importance of herbs and leaves. Follow me. Follow me and learn. I know someday you will cherish this. <laughs> of course, and I saw him doing all the dancing. <laughs> well, <clears throat> uh, let me use the opportunity to thank all of you for the various roles you play in making sure I, I marry a Buloma and uh, a Ifoma the same day. He <laughs> gladdens my heart. <laughs> yes. My wife and I were elated to find out that you are able to find something good in our family. Oh, it is such a beauty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, I am convinced that Ifoma, my daughter, will make a wonderful wife to you. You are quite correct. Yes. Quite precious, yes. isn't she? <laughs> okay, let me announce to you all then yes. that from now, henceforth, everything about them changes. Because now they have access to reality. From now henceforth, yeah. Uloma becomes a Diokon number. Hey! Uh, Uloma, Diokon number. Hey! Our new former is now Law Loifi. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> eh? Now, more maids will be attached to them to see to every single need they might have. <laughs> I have spoken. <laughs> Remember everything I taught you. If you can apply them accordingly, they would help you. Okay, wise one. I will do all as you have directed. Good. Let me leave you to catch some sleep. Because the night is far spent. Thank you, wise one. Remember to be careful on whatever you do. That is the law of nature. Thank you, wise one. We have talked of him for some days to see the effect of the medication I gave him. Uncle Tumbe, please, please. You have to do everything possible you can to see that Igwe is back on his feet, please. Why would we even come? This kind of strange sickness. Igwe is suffering from a spiritual problem. I shall be back in four market days. to go to Igwe's palace and see the Igwe. 
Me? Go to the palace. What business do I have in the palace? Igwe is seriously sick with deadly ailments. He's a kind man and should not be allowed to die. Oh. Wise one. The land of Amokwe have a renowned chief priest. Let him do his work. I, I don't think I want to return to a land where, where they all rejected me. There is a reason for that, my daughter. Now, nobody will recognize you. I will go to the palace because you asked me to. Only be careful. You must go and come back as soon as you've finished. I won't waste time. Remember to go with those medication I showed you. I will see you when you come back. condition is critical. I've done everything I should do, but his health condition still looks very hopeless. I got room. You are the chief priest and the greatest DBI in Amokwe. Should we allow him to die? I'm afraid there is nothing we will do to save his life.
us. Girls, go back to the villages. Tell them that the people of Afitim are after the people of Amokwe. Go, now, run! I came by to see how you're faring, your highness. And from what I see, you were stronger by the day. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm back on my feet. And, and I'm getting stronger by the day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I found out that you refused any payment for the services you rendered. Please, just name your price. And I will tell my Prime Minister to make sure you get whatever you want. I don't want anything from you, Your Highness. Well, well, at least you could tell me your name. Who are you? That is not important. Just know that the gods sent you a helper to heal you. I shall be leaving now. God said an helper to help me. Now, what sort of human is this? Oh, Nico! Your Highness. Have you found out where the Sipu terrors and people come from? Yes, Your Highness. They are from Efiten community. I heard their king, Igwe Oha, is dead. And they need about seven human heads to lay him to rest. Efiten, is that where they terrorize my people? To lay their hero to rest, eh? Ah, Efiten. You have touched the tiger by the tail. And I, I will tell you that I am alive. Now come here now, immediately. Yes, your highness. Be on your guards. Now, go and get Ono for the king. How about our Igwe? <laughs> Nedi news is all over town. Mm. A certain medicine woman came and, he and hid our Igwe. Eh? After all the medicine men have tried, even I got to Lumbe failed. Eh? <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, so. But, no, nye. I don't still understand why you choose to stay here in the bush. Why? My dear, it's a long story. You can come to my house and stay in there. No, please. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? One day, I shall tell you my story. Your story? Oh no! Igwe, the cop we here told me. He said from his investigation, those headhunters who have been terrorizing my people, they're from Afitan. <laughs> they want trouble. Oh no, I will give them war. Heads must roll. Igwe, calm down. I am not doubting Dikogo's report that you should uh, tread with caution. Hey, caution? Did I hear you say caution? And let them insult me? Brought <laughs> back we should send emissaries to Afita, telling them to stop sending headhunters to Amokwe. Wouldn't they see our action as an act of cowardice? Oh no, Iwe. You will put together some men, strong men from this land, that will go to Afita. And you will bring them to me here in my palace, immediately. Yes, Your Highness. Go now! And love. Ah, you will not know how much joy it gives me when I see you around me like this. <laughs> Your Highness, are you flattering us or what? No, far from it. I'm not flattering you. I saw the beauty you would possess. Right, I decided to marry you from that festival. Your Highness. Please not do this here now. Let's go inside. Ah, 
But if you go inside, you know I have to be very gentle with you. Because of your conditions, eh? Let's go. Let's go. Why did you walk as though you have been beaten? Your Highness, we got to Afitem and delivered your message to them. Yes. They rather called their chief warriors to beat us up and send us back with this message. Tell your Igwe that for challenging our actions on Amokwe, you should choose between a wrestling battle or war. Ah! Is that what they said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> and what else? Uh, they also said that uh, whoever loses will become a slave to the winner. They've given us three days to make our decision. Or they will choose for us. Afitem! The loser becomes the subject. Is that what they said? Exactly, I. Afitem. You have touched the tiger by the tail. I will drive through Afitem like an angry flood. Take your leave. Go to your chambers. Gentlemen of this people. He will! Have a people. They have pushed us to the wall. And I'm about to bite. And because I refuse to be a coward, they have now decided to challenge my integrity. Now let me ask you this, young men of this land. Are there no strong ones amongst you that can stand up and defend this nation? Can't you stand up and defend our land? Your Highness, we greet you our elders. We are ready to shed our blood in defending this kingdom. Yes! yes. Do we all live long? What do we do to our and people? Good. Now they have challenged us to war by way of wrestling bouts. Whosoever wins the bout will take the loser into slavery. Now you tell me, young men, which of these options will you choose? Your Highness, we greet you. Over our dead bodies, we will be subjected to slavery. Never, 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 never. We will fight them back. They should come with the best of their wrestlers. Yes. yes. The needed battle, we will give them war. Yes. Ah. yes. You all live long. Igwe. You will all live long. Igwe. Young men of Amokwe. Hey, hey. Uh, young men of Amokwe. Yes. Yeah. Are we going to allow them to destroy something? Never. Never. Good. Now the Igwe has a package for whoever that wins this bout and bring the glory of Amokwe back. What is the package? I have decided to share my kingdom into three equal parts. Three equal parts. Yeah. And whosoever brings back this glory to Amokwe. Yeah. We own one portion of my kingdom. Igwe. I have spoken. Igwe. I do a fellow. Nonye. 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 Hey, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Welcome. Uh -huh. I brought you these crops and foodstuffs ah. because my farm youth was wonderful. Uh -uh. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, my sister. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy you like them. I do. <laughs> thank you. Hey, and it's a lot. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so happy you like them. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank God you're here. What is this I hear you people discuss? 
Our people fighting with the neighboring village, Afitem. Yes, so my sister. Afitem has challenged Amokwe for a wrestling battle. And the mm -hmm. losers will automatically become slaves to the winners. <laughs> eh? Mm, that's what I heard, my sister. So, people of Amokwe, did they even have strong warriors and wrestlers to fight for them? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the chief guard, uh, Dikogo, will be the only person that can answer that question correctly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Man, I, I have to start going now. It's getting ah, dark, you know. My sister. <laughs> How is your husband? I hope he has fully recovered. Yes, he's, he's, he's fine now. He, I, he, can, he can do everything now. Uh, give him my regards. Okay. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Eh? All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. For you, Your Highness. Good news. What is it this time? Your Highness, Odiko, your wife just delivered a bouncing baby girl. I rushed to come and break the good news to you, Your Highness. Ah, that's good news indeed. Yes, Your Highness. Lolo delivered a baby girl. Nice, Odiko. It is indeed good news. You may take your leave now. Yes, Your Highness. Ah, girls of my ancestors have smiled down on me. This calls for celebration. Congratulations, guys. Yes, it's celebration time. Oh, 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 oh,
done for us what no one else has been able to do in this kingdom. We will appreciate you. Actually, before the wrestling bout, I made a promise. I promised that... That whoever wins in the competition gets one third of your wealth. Yes. Yes, you're right. I don't think I need that wealth. Why not? If I have such wealth in my possession, how do I control it from the bush? Or live in the bush? In the bush? Why? <laughs> because of the love I have for them. I still see Amokwe as my home because this is where I grew up. Your Highness, thank you for granting me audience. I should be on my way before it gets dark. Uh, no, no, young lady. We cannot allow you to live like that. No, no, no. We must show you appreciation. Please tell us, what is your name? Noye. My name is Noye. Sorry about your ugly experience. But do come back to this palace so that we can iron out all these issues. Maybe you can find something to do about it. I will, Your Highness. But for today, I celebrate with the people of Amokwe on our victory. I did it for love and not for the prize at stake. My daughter, don't be confused. Tell me what your heart is telling you. My heart is telling me that my people need me. I think I should go back to them. You want to go back to the same people that 
rejected you. I helped you when everyone cast you out and you don't know where to go. I know, wise one, but I can't continue to live in this bushy hut alone. I am not a spirit like you. I need, I need people around I can call mine. Honestly, I wish I can have a family of my own. And the Igwe has, has made me an offer to come around whenever I want. I haven't given him my response yet. But I want to. Noya, my daughter, I know how you feel. I want you to be happy. And I can see that your mind is made up. Be careful with people around you. I will. Thank you for everything you've taught me about how to survive and take care of myself. I know I'll be fine. This is my party gift to you. Wear it always. Use it to remember me. <laughs> Thank you, wise one. I will forever remember you. Thank you. Your Highness, since I became your Uno, have I ever given you a misleading advice? No, never. What do you want to tell her? Honestly, I couldn't sleep last night because last night all my thoughts were on her. I thought about her all night long. Meaning, meaning, when a man cannot sleep like that and kept thinking about a woman, every part of my body was about her. When I breathe, I breathe about her. All I did was about this lady. I tell you. So it means it means there's something. But then proposed to her. Thank you, no. Thank you, Igwe. That's exactly what I would do. I'll propose to her. Thank you, Your Highness. I should be leaving. Go well, no. Welcome to my palace, young lady. What may I offer you? Nothing, your highness. Nothing? Well, I invite you here for something very serious. Speak, your highness. Very well. I believe the only way that I can show you how much I appreciate you is to make you a part of me. Is to make you my wife. Please, do not refuse my proposal. Your Highness, I am elated by your requests. But you, you already have two wives. Why then do you wish to add me to that number? Well, um, you're quite right. I already have Odioko and Lolo. But it is no news that all they are able to bear me are female children. Something in my heart tells me that if I make you my wife, you will bear me a son that will sit on this throne when I join my ancestors. Please, consider my proposal. Well, that is for the gods to decide. Does that mean you've accepted my proposal?
know you'll be wondering why I called you into this meeting here. I called you here today because today is a remarkable day in my life. Yeah. Very remarkable in the sense that I am introducing to you this young lady here. Nonya here is the one who saved our girls from the headhunters of Africa. Mm -hmm. Nonya has saved me, has healed me from a strange ailment. Yes. And she has single-handedly saved this land from being taken into slavery mm. by single-handedly defeating the head wrestler from Africa. Now, Noye has refused to take any material gain, any material payment for all these things she has done. I want you to please help and say thank you to Noye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Highness, we must find a remarkable way of showing appreciation to this lady for the wonderful things she has done for this community. The good news is, she has agreed to be part of us. Your Highness, please explain to them in a language they will understand. Mm -hmm. Well, I proposed to her, and she accepted my proposal, and agreed to be my wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> in four market days, we shall all gather here again, and discuss how we'll go and pay a bright price. That would be wonderful. Really and until then, uh, Lord Lord, if you, I hand over Noye to you. And you shall take her to her chambers and make sure everything she needs get to her. It shall be done, Your Highness. Very well, very well. Okay, it okay. shall be done. That's all right. Come in. Beautiful woman. A beautiful woman like you needs to be adored by beautiful things. And that is why we brought these beautiful things for you. Do you like them? Yes, I do. They're beautiful. Thank you for the compliments, Oloma. How do you know that name? That's your name. How do you know I go by that name? Nonye. Nonye, your elder sister. Nonye. See how fate brought us together again as Igwe's wives? Isn't that wonderful? Nonye, please. Nonye, please, I'm sorry. Please. In any way, in any way that I broke you, please. Gave you before you apologized. Come here. <laughs> oh no. Are you joking about what you have just told me or what? How can I joke, Mama? That same Nonya woman you know is in this palace as the Igwe state wife. And because of her enormous achievement in this community, Igwe holds her in. High esteem. It won't happen. It has already happened though. It has already happened. There's nothing anybody can do about it. We just have to let the sleeping dog lie. Oh Lord. Hear yourself speak. Mama, what do you want me to say now? What do you want me to say? Maybe that's how Faith wants to bring the both of us together. Do 
don't know. Have you shot that your heart or I shot it for you? What fate are you talking about? Huh? Uloma. Look, before you realize it, it would be too late. And don't want me and start complaining. Don't! But mama... But what? But what? What are you butting me? But what? You know how Nonya used to be lucky. Look, my dear, before you know it, she will snatch the mind of the Iwe by giving him the first male child. And you know what? She will turn all of you to her slaves. What am I going to do now? Do what you must to do to safeguard your family from that intruder. <laughs> my dear, that is my humble advice. If you like, you fold your arms and watch what we have labored for to be destroyed. Hmm? Ha! Oh! No, no. Hmm? You don't know no yet more than I do. That girl, she can lack to utilize any opportunity given to her. I know how. I understand what you're saying. Can't you see the way she got the equipment to marry her? Oh, now I'm happy. You're beginning to understand what I'm saying. Yes. You see, I understand everything you're saying. I don't want anybody to take my relevance and place in this palace. Mm -hmm. So what are you suggesting we do? Is that possible? I mean, wouldn't they find out? Mm. All I need is your consent. Mm? Just leave everything. Leave everything to me. <sighs> okay. You have my support. <laughs> Lolo. Mm -hmm. This is a secret between us. Nobody, Lolo, nobody must hear about this. We are in this together. In fact, whoever reveals the secret, may the gods of this land strike the persons there. Go to the outer chambers and bring my staff of office. Okay, Your Highness. Go, go. Oh, sit down, gentlemen. Thank you. Sit down. Uh, gentlemen, this issue between Ezekwe's widow and her brother in law has become very critical for us to look into it. Now, I promise them that I will give my body today, but I want us to deliberate on this issue before I give my verdict. Your Highness, that's not a bad idea. What that's do you think? It's a very nice idea. Okay. Hello! What? Abomination! What is wrong? My staff of office. It's neither here nor in the other chambers. Your Highness. You run now and shut down the borders. Everyone must be searched before they leave. Make sure you find my staff of office. Find it. Okay, Your Highness. Go now. That is serious. Your Highness, please I'm come down. Come down. Carlo. Your Highness. You'll find it. Searched the entire village but could not find it. I doubt if it's still in this village. Now where will it be? Where? Your Highness, I don't know. Without my staff of office, I'm finished! Your Highness, 
They've searched everywhere in this village, excluding this palace. What are you insinuating? That it might still be in my palace? I don't know. I don't know. But that would be nice to fulfill all righteousness. Your Highness, I think there is sense in what Otokon said. Yeah, but we have quizzed every staff of this palace. No one claimed to have seen it. Very well. The girl, carry out another search, a thorough search of this palace, and get back with me. Go, go now, go. To this palace purposely to steal my staff of office. No, 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 no your highness. But why? Why my staff of office? You could have taken something else, money, jewelry. There's plenty there. Why is something this important to my community? Your highness, I swear I am innocent of this accusation. Hold on, ma. Please tell him. Tell him, tell him you know me so well. I, I am not a thief. I have never stolen all my life. Please tell him, your highness. By girls, how am I supposed to know that you are a wolf in a sheep clothing? Ha! No, I'm not. I'm not your Highness. Oh, yeah. You have disappointed me. Your Highness, I can swear. I can swear, please. I can swear. I'm heartbroken. And there's no amount of swearing. Because there's nothing you could do that can change the laws of land for those who commit such crime. It is true. The laws of this land says whosoever commits such a crime shall be buried alive in the legal forest. <sighs> Your Highness, I swear, I swear by the gods of our land, I did it, steal it. I'm innocent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take her away and do according to the laws of this land. Your Highness, please, please, I am innocent. Please, I beg you. Hold on, hold on, please. There is no amount of anything you will have done for this community that warrants you to steal my stack of office. <laughs> Your Highness, please, 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 come and cleanse my palace of this abomination. It's a very sad day in my life. Just keep your own part of the agreement. Keep sleeping with me. I know I would know this secret in eternity. I won't hmm. You know I keep secrets more confidential than you know. <clears throat> hmm? Anyways. Just for your assistance, okay? I'm glad. I'm happy. Uh, we are welcome. Let's go and perform the purification before the end. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Alright, I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ya pole moka, ya pole moka, kamino. Hey, who can I have a book? Hmm, mana taban na yon ko? Ogo dasa siya na. Hey, oh yung meto mo, oh yung meto ng Jose. Ano ba? Wadi de. Hey, 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 hey. 
My daughters, come. Yes. I am very happy today for the birthday celebration and the entire royal household celebrates with you. Now, and I thought to myself, what can I do to spice up the celebration of your birthday today? And I thought I would give you this token of my love. As you can see, these cars here, they are of just slightly different models, but the same thing. And I'm very sure that with these cars, they can put a little spice in the celebration of your birthday. <laughs> so, Oguma, <laughs> you pick your choice. Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my God. Father, oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Father, oh. And now, you move away from the real princess. Father, they are both beautiful, but I would take this, this one. This one? Yes. <laughs> Very well then. Um, <clears throat> this one. Now, here is the key. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Daddy. Wow. So, well then, Princess Amaka, your key. To your own car. Father, I don't need it. Why? Why must Princess Ugoma always be the first person to take anything whenever any gift is being brought into this house? Well, as with that, Ugoma chooses because she's your elder sister. Besides, hers is a better model than mine. Yes, she has. She picks first because she's your elder sister. It's a tradition. Father, I don't comprehend that idea. I need the truth. We were born on the same day. True or false? Sweetheart, she was born several hours before you were born. You see? True! True, Father, true! Your oh. Highness, that is what they told you. You were not there when we gave birth to them. Oh, the Konamba. You know I gave birth to my daughter, Ugoma, before you delivered her, Maka. And so stop sowing the seed of this card in this It is you that is sowing the seed of this card. And I won't allow you to do that. My own daughter cannot take this thing you call a car. And as for both of you, this palace will not contain us. Angel, let's go. Let's go. Oh, the Konamba. Amaka. Come back here. Mother, it's okay. Listen, she can have mine. I don't want mine anymore, okay? I, I can take hers. I don't even want this anymore. Don't want I won't allow it. Never! If you don't want peace, I give them pieces. But, but mother, mom, mom, please wait, wait, please. Mother, mother, please wait. Have I done something wrong with my cars, my daughters? Do you think I've done something wrong here? No, Your Highness. Maidens, you all have brains in your heads. Have I done something wrong here? No, Your Highness. Come on, 
Go be my daughter. Yes, mother. Are you under a spell? No. How do you want to forgo your birthright just like that? Mother, I, I just want peace to reign in the palace. Are you insinuating then that the gods are foolish to allow you to be delivered before Amaka? No, mother. Then, on no condition, on no condition should you ever exchange your birthright with the excuse that you want peace to reign. Do I make myself clear? Yes, mother. If they don't want peace, I give to them exactly what they want. You're right, mother. I should not exchange my birthright in this palace. Amaka, the battle line has been drawn. And you, Lord Lord Ife, both of you and your daughters have totally embarrassed me today in the presence of the entire royal home. Now, that is an issue I will not forget in our room. We are sorry, Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Please. We overreacted. Do find a place in your heart to forgive us. Please, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. We are truly sorry. Well, I take this then as a promise that this will never happen again. It's a promise, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Mm -hmm. a promise. Very well. You are both my treasures and also the source of the treasures that I have, your daughters. It is your duty, both of you, to make sure that the two sisters are best of friends, not to walk and tear them apart. Now you go back and work on that and make sure that they are best of friends. Okay, Your Highness. Very well. Very well. But, young ladies, your mothers and I are going to Moise village to be part of that festival. Now, I do not want to get any negative report when I return. Amaka, behave yourself. And you, remember you are the older too. Hmm? And you give me a good report when I return. Consider it done, Dad. Right. Let's go. Say, Johnny. Well, say, Johnny, Father. Bye. God. My presence. What are you doing here at this time of the night? My presence, my. So, oh, please, just leave here immediately. Okay, please. Don't I have the right to send a guard on an errand in this palace anymore? <laughs> this is a This is wrong, and you know it. Guards are not allowed to be in this quarters at this time of the night. So you are the one that does what is right. Huh, <laughs> Ugoma? What is the meaning of this? Can't I have breathing space in my own father's house anymore? <sighs> you are always showing off in front of all the subjects. <laughs> Let this be the very last time I am warning you or else! Or else, <laughs> what will happen? You, I will do to you what you will not be able to explain to anyone. the guards to come to the princess quarters at that time of the night. So I sent him back to his quarters. Good. That was very wonderful, my daughter. 
May the gods continue to strengthen you in all you do. Mm. Thank you. I know your father must be very delighted yes. when you gave him the news. He was very happy. Good. <laughs> My princess, yes, remember what I always tell you. To always insist on doing what is right. Do good patience, pace. Do the dividend material. Okay? Well, mom, I will try my best in doing the right thing, and I just pray that the gods make me do the right thing. Will huh? you find favor with the gods? <sighs> Mother, you promised to give me a bit. But if you don't give me two, I won't. I've had enough. My daughter, don't allow that holier than thou attitude of Lolo and her daughter Ugoma disturb you. Mother. You need to see the way she made everyone believe that she was sent by the gods. Time will tell who is God sent. Just relax. Relax for me, okay? Mother, I should relax? Yeah. Is that all you have to say? When she's almost winning the heart of everyone over? <laughs> very soon. I mean, very soon. It will turn around. Just be brave and strong in character. I know the opportunity will come someday. And when it comes, seize and utilize it. Because I know very soon the joy will turn to sorrow. Honestly, I can't wait for that day to come. Meanwhile, I need to go see Father. He demands to see Grandma and I. It's okay. Just be yourself. I'll see you soon. So my girl Atuka is still sick, eh? And his condition is not improving. That's why we say it too. I don't know. I don't even understand what is happening, honestly. Hey. Has he been taking his medications? Yes. Agua Trumbe just left here now. Oh. After giving him some drugs. Agua Trumbe? Yes. Ah. Um, In that case, let me give you some money, eh? Let me give you some money. This is for you and your husband. Eh? Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'll come back later. All right. Uh, eh? Okay, sir. Just don't worry. Don't worry. Your uh, husband, my brother Chuka, mm. will get there soon. I have to be on my way. Uh -huh. I'll come back later. Eh? Thank you very much. Sir. Just take care. Thank you. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you very much. In my own assessment, I think Princess Uguma is far better than her sister, Princess Amaka, in all ramifications. You are right. Imagine the kind of project she's embarking on beside the market. I heard it's a skill acquisition center, and many of us will benefit from it. The gods will bless her. That was a wonderful discussion from both of you. Good day, my princess. Good day, my princess. Will you sip up those mouths of yours? Look at them. You are greeting me after giving me a level of the black sheep of this kingdom? I will teach you girls a lesson you will never forget in a hurry. Now lie down there, you need this Lie down there. Shut up. Shut up and obey without complaint. Go down immediately. Look at them. Look at their sorry faces, heaping praises on Ugoma as if she's a goddess. Is she? No, my princess. Remain like this until I return back. Lying down, face down. <laughs> oh, please stand up. Just stand up. <laughs> thank you, my princess. Thank you. Yeah, so what is the problem? 
is your sister, Princess Amanka. My sister? What about my sister? She overheard us discussing about the laudable project you are doing in this village. And she decided to punish us. It's true, my princess. She tried to deal with us if we continue to discuss about your achievements, my princess. Okay, um, you know what? I really apologize on my sister's behalf, okay? It will never happen again. Thank you. Okay, you can go. Thank you. My princess. Princess, Amaka is overstepping her bound. And you need to do something. Just do something. Talking about. Oh, you know what I'm talking about and stop pretending? How could you ask your feather girl to lie down on the ground face down? God! Amaka, your actions are becoming unbecoming and irresponsible! I hope you did not release them. Of course I released them. Meaning what? Meaning what? Ugoma. Ugoma. This is not your business. You should learn to mind your business. It is my business how you treat people in this community as slaves. Amaka, this must stop. Honestly, you're taking too much, Ugo. You are not my watchdog. I will always remain your watchdog if you keep doing the wrong things. The next time you cross my path, I swear by the gods of this land, I will fight you! <laughs> and I will be ready. For you and none of your maidens seems to know your whereabouts. Mother, please, I just want to be left alone. What is the matter with you, my daughter? You don't look happy. Mother, how can I be happy when everyone in this palace seems to be working against me? How? No. Nothing is working against you. You're the most beautiful damsel in this kingdom. And the gods endowed you with all the qualities a woman needs to succeed. That is why they are envious of you. Honestly, Mother, I am I'm confused. Don't be. You don't have to be confused. You're the most beautiful woman. Just like an angel. Very soon, nobody, I mean, nobody will be able to stand your beauty. Oh, Come on. Lunch is ready. Get up. Let's go and eat. Yeah. Come on. That's my baby. <laughs> How'd you go? How'd you go? How'd you go? What is it? There is something I've been wanting to discuss with you. Uh -huh. What is it? I've been disturbed how Okono, my elder brother, frequent our house since I became sick. I may be sick and weak, but I still have feelings. So what, what are you saying to Chuka? Eh? No, I hope you're not saying I'm doing anything for no Okono. I, I don't know. You don't know? What is it that you don't know? I've been having these feelings that both of you are seeing each other. Eh, Chuka? So this is how you want to pay your brother Okoro for all the help that has been given me since you became sick? Eh? Anyway, I'm not interested in your possession. 
I'm not. But even if I want to do it, Chuka, is, is it going to be under your nose? Under your nose? Eh, Chuka? Ha, ah, Chuka. So you don't even trust me, eh? Chuka, you don't trust me. Huh. So, but all these things I did for you, all the sacrifices I made for you, this is how you want to pay me back. <laughs> Everything I did for you. Don't you call me? No, 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 Are you sure? Yeah, let's go to your room. Because I don't want us to be caught. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm saying that he's asleep. Uh, uh, I hope you're ready for me. Yes. Look, trust me, I've been more than your expectation. Yes. I can't wait to have you. The great tigress, the sweetest thing of my life. Taro, your majesty, you are indeed wonderful. <laughs> you can say that again. You know you can't have me in your soup. And at the same time, be looking for a fish to prepare your soup. How do you call? The greatest queen of Amokwe. You are the greatest tigress in this jungle. I can't stop appreciating you. I know why you are here. Uh, Tenga, take it. Apply this. I hope this will work this time. Because the other one is no more effective. This one is for special purposes. It works wonderfully well. Are you sure? When you apply it as I would direct, anything you require from the Igwe, she will grant it expressly. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. But don't forget me when the dividends are clear. Oh, you don't have problem. I'll see you later. Thank you.
Mother. Mother. Mother, please help me one hour. Just one hour. One hour for me. One hour because she has started again. What is it, my daughter? I know she's my stepsister and the eldest princess, as they say. But tell her to stop making the whole village believe that I am wicked. Thank God you're here. Lolo, I want your daughter to leave my daughter alone. If you want me to shout it, I will shout it. You push, you leave us alone. Lolo, you push! Monica, what is it? What is the matter? You and your daughter are daring me in this kingdom. And if you don't leave us alone, I'm going to cook for both of you what you cannot eat. Is that a threat or what? Whatever you think you can call it, I have spoken. What is going on there? Why do you both want to put this palace down? Why? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Amaka, leave us alone. Yes, Father. Your Highness, I think you should talk to Odioko on how she refers to me and my daughter, Princess Ugoma. Odioko, you are my first wife. You should be able to run the affairs of this palace in my absence. Your Highness, tell them. Tell Lolo and her daughter, because they don't seem to know. Huh. Odioko, you must not forget to let Amaka know that Skoma is an elderly sister. Though they are both my daughters, but the, the respect, the tradition of the respect for the elderly must be upheld in this palace. Your Highness, are you in any way insinuating that I and my daughter are the cause of these problems in this? Yoko, why don't you ask yourself that same question? Hmm? Why? Now let me tell you, both of you, let this be the last time such will happen in this palace. Have I made myself clear? I was actually on my way to your house. What is it that I'm hearing? Ibuka. Yeah. I lost my wife. Ha! Try! Do you know the painful side of it? I lost my wife and my unborn baby. Ha! Mm. Hamadi. So sorry about this. It's a pity. You have to take heart, okay? Look, I know how you feel right now. I know how painful it is. But you have to gather yourself. You have to be a man, okay? Look, the good Lord will give you the fortitude to bear this loss, okay? Hey, because why must it be me? What have I done to deserve this? Look, I'm we cannot question the gods. We cannot question the gods. Look, I think you, you, you better live here now, okay? Let's go to your house. Huh? Let's go to your house, please. Look, this place is not good for you, okay? I can't go back to that house. No, Hamadi, stop this place. Look, look at this environment. It's not good for you. Very soon now, uh, people will start gathering here, okay? So let us get back to your house, please. Huh? Please. I'm so sorry about it. Please, I'll soon be ready. Please. 
Whatever. I'm waiting for you in my room. Okay, mother. I'll be with you, son. It's okay. You won't believe what we saw at the farm today. Yeah. What did you see at the farm? When we, the farmers of Amoko, go to our individual farm land, we discovered that all our crops have withered. What? Every effort of the farmers of Amoko this year have gone down the drain. Unbelievable. What is the meaning of all this? Yeah. We could not interpret it. No, uh, no. Please, get me a cup of water to drink before I faint. Uh. Bobby, go and get your father a cup of water. Because... Okay, Baba. Hey! What is it? Hey, I got here in car, Biko. Prime Minister, what calamities are we talking about? Your Highness, women are experiencing miscarriages. Some of them deliver their babies prematurely, while others die while in labor. Our crops have withered and died. These streams have turned into blood. Ah! As I'm talking to you now, the villagers are gathering at the market square, chanting war songs. I've just come to give you information so that you know what to do. Who oh, goes our land? What are these calamities? Oh no, Your Highness. Now summon the meeting of all the elders. Make sure that everyone in your cabinet is available. That's all right. The meeting immediately. Now, that's you, all right, Your Highness. Your Highness. Get your men together and secure the village square. Your Highness, I lost my wife mysteriously to the cold hands of death as she was in labor. 
before her death. She, she uttered things no one can understand. Yes, Your Highness. And we, the youth, must not rest until we get to the root of this matter. Hmm. Young man, it is not just you, youth, that will not rest. We all will not rest until you have gotten to the bottom of this. It is the reason why we are know they are out here. Several of such terrible news have reached us in the palace. These strange occurrences, we shall all fight together and get to the bottom of it. The girls of the land will not let us alone in this fight. We shall fight it together. Do not despair. Your king is not asleep. Thank you, Elders of Amokwe. Elders of our land. I am aware you people are out to look for me. They wouldn't believe for that. I'm here. Speak. Eyes of the people. What are we going to do next? Where are you, Digwe? Digwe is in the palace. Let's go! We greet you. Out there, the sky is filled with blood. Oh. I have tried to know the cause of all these calamities. But the gods still remain silent. Ah. How can they be silent, I got to me? Why would the gods be silent in such situations? When will they speak? Will they keep silent until after we've all been wiped off of the surface of this earth? I want to remember. You are the eyes of the gods. You understand their language. Yes. Talk to them. Talk to them. We and the entire people of Amoku do unto you. Do something to avert this calamity. Should we offer something? I mean, if it is sacrifice, we are ready. Yes. I even am at a loss. See if the gods have refused to talk to me and remain silent. Oh. Well, we have to hope that perhaps soon they will talk to me. And as soon as they talk to me, I'll get back to you. Very well. Very well. <laughs> These are the foodstuffs that I want to give out. Who are you giving them to? Mom, I'm giving them to those people that have not been able to have a decent meal since this crisis started. I mean, Mom, I have this much and my people are suffering in want. My princess. Yes, Mom. You truly have a good heart. <laughs> but we don't have enough foodstuffs that will go around. I know. I will give out this one then. If it gets exhausted, I will stop. Oh, my God. May the gods threaten you, my <laughs> princess. Yeah. This is very wonderful. Thank you, Mom. Okay, let me call the guards. Guards! 
Guys! Ah. Oh no! Give me The Highness. The worst has happened. What is it? The Highness. I was discussing an important issue with Mazi Bekwe in my house. Yes. When suddenly, Vulture, buying rapper, wearing beats, appeared in my house. And disappeared almost immediately. What? It's a bad omen, Your Highness. It's an abomination. Oh, gods of our land. Why are all this happening? Why not speak to us before this danger that looms consume us? The Highness, what do we do? Hmm. Well, um, let us go inside and summon Ogatoro. <laughs> You defy the throne of Amobe. I tell you, my ancestors sat on this throne, and so was my great grandfather and their great great grandfathers. And I have stepped into their shoes. No one, no one has ever defied the throne of Amobe. Speak, or I challenge you. Even if you're. is defied. Oh. Oh, my cows of my ancestors. Hear me, my father's fathers. Hear me, my mother's mothers. Why are you so vexed that you ignore the wine with spill and cheer with you? Come to our aid, my milk way. Sit to me, my mother's mothers. Come to our aid, my father's fathers. The throne of our is defied. What do we do? So I suggest we see Agua Trumbe at once. Yes. Agua Trumbe is the only solution. He is the greatest and oldest Dibia in this our community.
هذا الجول السنه اللي تعي Well, do you understand their language? Ask them what is going on. Them, we cannot continue like this. Odmot, do you want to? Hey, banquet. 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 Oh, my lord, you're a banquet. Ah. Everybody around here crying. Yeah, all over. Yes, it's because two sons of Wokeke that just returned from overseas. They just died. Ah! Ha! Hey! Hi! You know, since this week now, there's been death everywhere. Young men and women, they die at their prime. God so far, and where should all this stop? Now that uh, hey. Awatumbe is dead, what will be our next line of action? Are you saying that Hakutrumbe, the great chief priest of this land, is dead? He's dead. Elders, your highness, I suggest we should go to the palace quick. Something tells me that a terrible thing is happening in the palace already. Ancestors, I challenge you. 
Whosoever did this, even if you leave the spirit world, I challenge you. I will come down. I will not come down. I will not come down. Your Highness, let's go and see the high priest of Morinim. He's a journey of six days and six nights, and we'll be there. So what am I doing here? Let's go. Come, 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 come. I'm going to have some elders to go with you. No, 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 I will not leave my family here. I'm waiting. Your Highness, Your Highness. Your Highness. Okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, I'm going to collect some elders. Yes, let's go oh, we let's go elders. Let's plan our oh, we'll go to Oh, go to Oh, let's go Oh, I will fight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, you got a ancestors. Why would you let this happen to me? Why would they let this happen it's to my right. family? It's alright. I will fight the spirit world. I will fight everybody. We will it's not right. leave you alone. Right. We will right. fight them with you. Oh. We are going to fight this. What is my life? Don't now where is my life? Don't let's, let's go inside oh. first and calm down. Calm down. See, let's, oh. let's plan our journey. Mm. Let's go inside and plan oh. our journey, Your Highness. Oh. 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 Your Highness, mm. this is the extent the car can go. I see. The rest of the journey shall be done on foot. Well, then we do it on foot. Now, let anyone who is afraid of embarking on this journey now say so, because there's no turning back. Your Highness, we are committed to this journey, so there's no turning back. Well, then let us go. Gentlemen, I think we should rest here for tonight. Your Highness, are you tired? No, no, I am not tired. But I can see the night is far spent. We should rest for tonight so as to have enough energy to commence on the journey tomorrow. Well, um, Your Highness, in that case, I think I... Yes, I have to prepare this place for you. Thank yes. you, son. You are most kind.
husband's dead here. Are you comfortable there? Well, let me manage here. Okay, Zay. Are you okay? I'm all right. Yeah, we're okay. You are okay, yeah. I think one of you gentlemen should be on the lookout. Yes, I'm at the backyard. Oh, you're even here. I was looking for you. Hey, Ada, you're welcome. Thank you. Ha, let me help you. No, I'm almost through. <laughs> this one that you came to look for me, I hope all is well. My sister, all is well. Oh. Is there something wrong with someone visiting a friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't mind me, guy. Yeah. Any news? No, I don't understand. How don't you understand? Eh? I'm talking about the Igwe, your father and some elders that went to seek for solution to our community crisis in a, in a far land. Ada, actually we haven't heard anything yet. I'm beginning to get scared. I don't want anything to happen to my father, Ada. <clears throat> I heard that it's not everybody that goes to Rimiri that comes back alive. Just pray that your father will come back alive. <coughs> hey, you can have some, ma. Now you must leave here at once. Do you hear me? Oh, so all you came here to tell us is how my husband will not come back alive? Come and get out from this place! Oh, Mama! It's Mama! Body. Nonsense! She's here to, to, to spread false rumors and, and, and gossip. Stupid girl! Nonsense! Which corruption? Corruption? Did you say corruption? And, and what has the colonel done to, to deserve this? Wise one. He has been taking advantage of his younger brother's wife, Ojugo, whose husband is dying in a terrible ailment. Oh, so this is what Ukon has been doing. Eh? Look at where it has landed him. Eh? Oh no. To Fiakwa. Your Highness. Yes, wise one. When you get back. Tell her you got to confess to her husband, or else she will die in the same shameful way as Ocon. It, it, it shall be done. It, it, it shall be done. I see a bloody Amokwe. I can see evil before Amokwe, which nobody can stop. Except the gods. Where's one? Please. A peace to the gods. There is no way we can stop this evil unless we know the cause. The entire Amokwe are under a terrible curse. Who has placed this curse on us? The blood of the innocent cries daily unto the gods for vengeance. Amokwe offended the innocent and the kind hearted one. This happened some years ago. 
It's a sorrowful story. But it's better told. Hey, just, uh, please, wise one, tell it to us. Mm. We are listening. Yes. Yeah, yes. Behold your past that is affecting you. Oh, <laughs> 
The goddess of Ungene is avenging the wasting of the innocent blood of Omani. So that was how it happened. I knew it. I knew it deep down in my heart that Noye did not commit that crime. But there was nothing I could do. Ah! As for you, Odioko and Lolo. Odioko and Lolo, you deserve what came after you. And I shall not cry over you. Mm -mm. I will not weep over you. As for two of them, yes, Westman. Their bodies will not be buried. 
they will be thrown into the evil forest where wild birds and ants can feed on them. No burial will be organized for them. That's the mind of the gods. Well, very well, uh, wise one. But now that we have known what this cause is, what may we do? What may we do to appease the goddess of Ingenia? And avert any, 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 any further calamity in our land? And be your own. Yes. What do we do? Your Highness. Yes. Your daughters have been chosen to dance before the goddess of Ingenia and bring back the clean stains. All they have to do is dance. That's all. It is done. It is done. It, it is done. We know what to do. Hmm? We know what to do.